Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Toddabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Texan PL-398BT. It's an AM, FM stereo, long wave, short wave, portable radio with Bluetooth. Yeah, it has a lot. Um, I love this radio. It's a real fun radio to use. Um, I picked it up for 69 bucks off of Amazon. And here it is. Here's the box anyway. I took everything out, but we'll show you what the box looks like. Texan for the listener. Picture of the radio. Over here, we have World Band, Bluetooth, hands-free, DSP technology, the model number. Okay. Um, the box is pretty simple on the sides. Colors, black. Okay. On the back here, we have a picture of the radio. We have some bullet points. 550 station memories. Sweet. Bluetooth receiving function. Sweet. Uh, easy tuning mode. Yeah. Love it. Auto tuning storage. Good thing to have. Uh, a lot of cool features here. You kind of just browse those. Okay. Then you got little icons. World band broadcasting. All right. FM frequency range, which I'll show you in the book because I know people will want to know that. Bandwidth control. I think there's like five of them on AM and shortwave. Nice thing to have. Uh, yeah. So you can see all these things it does. And dual speakers. Did I pass something? No, no dual speakers. Bluetooth. Where is it? Where, there it is. FM stereo. Yeah. FM stereo. Line in. Okay. So you get the drill. All right. So that's the box. What do we get in the box? We get some stuff. We get a manual. We get a little, little Keto warranty registration. We got a bag that held the radio. We got this tray that uh, all the stuff came in. And there was little extras here. Extras here. I'm going to go ahead and lower this down so we can get better view on these. Yeah. So what it is, you get a patch cable, stereo patch cable for your line-in devices. Nice. You get a pair of nice premium headphones from Texan. These look a little better. They got little rubber ends here. These look a little higher quality. There you are. You get those. All right. And like I said, you get the paperwork. Kato, nice thing about buying from them. They give you a warranty here in the States. You send this in, you get a one-year warranty, I believe. Limited warranty. There's the information. Send it in. Get it warrantied. Yeah. And then you get an English manual, which is really nice. Um, so this is everything you need. It's very easy to operate. If you know anything about Texan radios, 310 or 380, it's very basic, very similar to those radios. Let's go to the back here for the frequency chart for the frequency nuts. So you got the different bands here. 87 to 108, 64 to 108 in Russia, Japan, uh, Europe, and USA. And you get your 9 and 10K for AM or medium wave, long wave, short wave. And then you got some sensitivity, memory. And then over here, you got Bluetooth working frequency. I don't know why they put that in there. It's pretty basic. Um, stereotype. Okay, so you get an idea. So it's a pretty basic, straightforward manual that goes over a lot of different things. And we'll try to touch on most of those today. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the radio. Here it is. All right. Looking nice. The PL398BT. All right. So let's go over dimensions. Seven and three eighths across, three and a half inches tall, and one and a quarter inches in depth. So for size comparison, I'm going to have to bring this tripod up because it is kind of a fairly long radio. So let's see how high we can get this here and get this thing in the frame. So there we go. We got the, that. We got a CC pocket handy. Good idea for size. We got L Iron Man. Yeah. Little Iron Man. Love it. Okay. And then you're going to want to see this, of course, the little brother, the 310ET. Very popular radio from Texan also to give you an idea for size comparison. There you go. All right. So let's go ahead and bring the camera back down and talk about features of the PL398BT. Bringing this down. Okay. So right away, you see two speakers. I bought it because stereo speakers. I had to give it a shot. I also heard that the AM antenna is bigger in this radio than the other smaller radios. So that was another thing I thought I'd you know, be interested in because I love listening to my medium wave. So let's go ahead and go left-hand side here. We have the wrist strap. It's very handy. I would use it if you're carrying this around with you because it is kind of a, a longer radio, easily fumbled if you're walking around with it. Uh, we have an FM and shortwave antenna jack where you can hook up your external antennas, which is really nice, like the Kato T1, which I'll link down below. Every shortwave, every shortwave radio should have 
um, a real antenna to go with it. It just expands the reception so much. It's a shame not to use that. So definitely, it's only 10 bucks to buy one of those wires. Uh, here's a line in jack for your uh, MP3 devices. Here we have the headphone jack. And I'll tell you right now, this radio is sounds amazing on headphones. It sounds better on headphones than it does through these speakers. Just, it's a totally different experience. <laughs> Let me just say, if you love headphones, buy the radio. You'll plug in your headphones. You'll be like, okay, thank you, Todd Bird. You were right. This radio is phenomenal on headphones. Yes, it that is uh, the most amazing thing with this radio. FM stereo sounds amazing on it. AM broadcast sounds amazing. The shortwave sounds really good. I never thought I'd like to listen to shortwave on headphones, but it sounds good. So, boom, right there. It's said and done. <laughs> then we have a uh, DC in of 5 volts to charge your internal batteries if you use nickel metal hydride batteries. Texan PL398BT. Yellow sticker here. We got two two-inch speakers. Center here, we have Bluetooth and FM stereo, shortwave, medium wave, long wave, DSP radio. We have a clock. We have a display here showing the temperature. Here we have this timer. That's where our alarm settings come up. And then we have a charging indicator for the batteries. It will charge uh, what level we're at. And you can change that from regular batteries to the nickel metal hydride batteries, which is nice. Below it, you'll see a bunch of keys. We have a numeric keypad for direct entry of the frequency and also preset numbers if you know where you're at in the presets. You notice some have dual functions, FM settings, so you can change your J Japan FM, Russian FM, European, US, so that's kind of nice. Here we have the mode to toggle between 24 hour clock and 12 hour clock. Here we have the 9 10K change on the medium wave. Uh, down here we have the changing the battery type, so you can go from the nickel metal hydride battery type to the alkaline battery, so if you plugged in your charger with alkaline batteries, it won't blow them up. <laughs> uh, beep on and off. I turn it off. I hate the beep on this thing. It's ridiculous. So you won't hear any beeping coming from this radio. I turned it off with this feature here, beep on and off. And these are done with the power off on the radio. Here we have an enter key and delete function. Of course, this key here is the memory key, which also, you know, so you can add memories when you're on frequency. Here we have a display uh, function and lock button. So we just tap this, it cycles the display. And right now it's showing temperature, it's showing alarm one, the alarm two. So one's, one's radio, one's buzzer, and then it cycles through and it goes back to temperature when the radio is off. Here we have the time set function. Here we have the alarm set functions. You have the one for radio and one for alarm. Here you just tap it, it tells you when it's gonna go on. It actuates it there. You can see a little icon pops up and you can wake to buzzer also. So you can have both active. We'll turn those off. Okay, over here we have some more buttons. The auto tuning system uh, is active on all these buttons. We have shortwave band select buttons, and then we have the down or up on the frequency ranges, and we also have uh, for storage. You can do hit this button, it'll do a scan of all the stations in Storm. Here it will only do within that broadcast band on that B button. That's why they split it into two. Here we have the AM select button, FM select button. Here we have the uh, memory mode function, frequency mode function button, and ETM function. So nice to have these. So ETM, just remember, you got 550 presets that are permanent, then you got ETM, which is an additional 550 temporary storage. So if you took your batteries out, ETM would be wiped out, but your presets would still be there, which is good to know. BW means bandwidth, so you have five choices there on AM and shortwave, which is really nice. Here we have the stereo button, which duels as turning off the illumination. So I sometimes don't really want to light on my radio. Uh, some people probably be like, what? Well, it's just an extra drain. And if you have like a headlamp, I always use a headlamp. Uh, you can actually turn the light off so it never goes on, uh, which is really nice with that feature. I love that. Here we have the power button. Nice big red button. It says power. Can't miss it. Um, also acts as your sleep function button. Click it and quickly tune to the minutes you want. Uh, top of the radio, we have a light and snooze button. The real cool thing about this button is you can tap it for a quick light, and then you can also press and hold, and it will, let me see if I can get, there we go, it'll flash. Okay, let me see if I can get this. There we go. So now it'll actually stay on the whole time we're talking, and why not? We'll drain the batteries. <laughs> you also notice there's a little phone icon that's for the Bluetooth. So if you're listening to your podcast through your Bluetooth and the phone's ringing, It'll ring on here. It'll stop the podcast from playing. It'll put it on pause, and you can answer your call here. And there's a little microphone right up in here. There's a little microphone you can talk and do a voice call. That's kind of nice. And then you hang it up by hitting the same button. And, of course, snooze for the alarm. 
uh, antenna, I'll probably show you this. This antenna extends out to 35 inches. Yeah, pretty amazing. It also has a pull-up feature here where it allows you to clear the cabinet. I know this mine's a little difficult to handle. You'll see me struggle a little bit with it. It's just a little snug fitting for me on this one, but it does work really well when you can do that because there's it's just easier. It gets that antenna more vertical when you have it on its stand. Okay, on the right-hand side, we have the tuning wheel. It's kind of like a jog wheel. This reminds me of the 380s. It has a notch, continuous. Um, same with the volume, digital, it's continuous. All right, on the bottom, it's got little vented uh, ports here for the speakers. And of course, this radio stands no problem because it's squared off. Back of the radio, there's a lot of features on here. We're going crazy here. We have the Bluetooth mode, uh, radio or Bluetooth. When you initiate Bluetooth on the front here, it'll say it's on Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth, and you turn it on and it does all its normal sounds. You guys, I'm sure, know all about that. Pretty basic stuff. Then here's the, for when you're playing music, you just tap the buttons. Next, previous, pause, play. Pretty, pretty rudimentary Bluetooth function, but it works good. Here we have a flip out stand, a little holographic sticker behind there. Okay, it takes three AA batteries. Put them in this door here. All right, so. With that said is, let's uh, talk about FM reception. So FM reception is amazing. <laughs> Very good to excellent. So four and a half stars, yes. I found about 80 stations with this thing. It's so sensitive, it just blows me away with FM. Just amazing. Uh, FM selectivity, very good to excellent. Uh, it just it just, ham it just holds those stations, locks them in, and it just, it just it's great. Um, the reason why it doesn't get excellent, excellent, is because you know I'm comparing it to an EP Pro, which is really good, or I'm comparing it to like the highest and the best of the best. This is almost the best of the best on FM. It's just really a great FM receiver, just just amazing. And of course, you know me, FM stereo is fantastic through the headphones. Audio here, little different story, and we'll talk about that when we do our little audio test, and you'll you'll hear it. Um, so that's just uh, there. You go for the FM. So and we went over the speakers and tennis, so we know all about that stuff. So let's go ahead and turn this on. See what this radio can do. So we're on the FM, so we're gonna extend our antenna here. Turn this down, because music playing, like, I love the music. All right, so this has that pull-up antenna thing, so it's kind of a struggle for me, so I'm gonna try this on camera. Yeah, it's really tight on me. I don't know why they made this so tight. Did I get it to clear? Let's see if I got it. I think I got it, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is nice, so you can actually lay this flat. This will be good. I can bring my antenna up. Extended that whopping 35 inches. Just amazing. Yeah, that's how you get your reception. <laughs> I dig it. So let's go ahead and get a little close and personal. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a band scan of the uh, radio here. So we're going to do an automatic uh, or auto-tuning system feature. We're going to just press and hold FM. And we're going to let it do its thing. And the neat thing is we can do this with the lights going here. And I'll show you this really cool feature about this radio is that the keys are backlit. Now that is really cool. So you got your numeric keypad, all the keys, so you can see in the dark. You're not you still you don't need a flashlight to see where the buttons are. That is probably a great selling point of this radio. And they went away. So let's see if we can't get that to stay on. There we go. So yeah, it's just a really nice, nice feature. I interrupted the the scan to do that. So let me redo the scan. Should go pretty quick. So if you're watching this, um, here's the presets. It's finding all these stations right now um, as it's going up the frequency range. I'll be honest with you, this radio, not so fun using the tuning wheel for uh, direct access because it you'll go quick and all of a sudden it'll go too fast or if you're going too slow, it goes too slow. On FM, it's just a hassle. It's better just to do an easy two mode and then listen to your station. So we're going to go through and see what it found. It was hard at first, plenty hard, just like Joe Marley had said. Dan had to drive wagons, Dan had to sing, Dan had to dance, Dan was the strong man. It's an exciting weekend, and right now you can get your weekend pack. don't need to tell anybody it does. Lighthouses don't fire cannons to call attention to their shining. They just shine. So for the, this radio, it has a stereo, which sounds really good to me, but I don't have a stereo mic. So I'm going to turn the stereo off so you get a better representation of the audio. Okay. Music. Did you have a race between Kansas and England? Yeah. Don't the pancakes get soggy when you're crossing the Atlantic? Enhancing public understanding of. Want 
intestinal d- distress, right? Pablo's biggest party station. So you got an idea there. Let's see if we do a quick radio Tadabert. Just getting a little audio check there. Um, you can do the direct entry on the frequency. So we have Tadabert on. Whoops, we're in the wrong mode. Let's go to frequency mode. It'll flash tell you that you're on frequency mode there. So we'll enter 97.7. Take us right there. The audio test. Yeah, I like to do that. I mean, I just did a FM band scan, but it's nice to hear some of the music play through here. As you'll notice, the speakers aren't very good on low end or mid mid range. They're a little high, they're a little on the high side. So, uh, just letting you know. Oh, you can see the microphone port better right there. <laughs> um, it's an okay experience. It's really good when you do classical music, uh, light type music like folk music or guitar though, guitar music where it's not you know 
metal or rock, just like playing acoustic guitar or something sounds really good. But yeah, when you start getting into heavy bass tones, forget it. This radio is not for you if you want to listen to it with the speakers. Though with the headphones, you're in a whole different category there. Rock on with those headphones, let me tell you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just quick shortwave. And then uh, we're going to do a little bit of an AM and then we'll call it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm planning a shortwave and AM uh, medium wave band scan. That's a separate video. So we're going to go ahead, shortwave mode. You go into here and what it does, you can cycle different uh, bands. 22 meter, 19. You can see it changing there. 13 meter, 120 meter. So what we'll do is we'll go to an area where there's typically stations here. And then we'll do a... Uh, browse function. So if you press the VF and hold it, it'll actually scan and we'll see if it picks up any stations. And anything about this radio is it scans um, through the broadcast band and then also uh, there we go. You can also tune out of range too, which is nice. And also while this is going on, you can hit your memory key and add it to memory, which is nice. Add it to 11. Let's keep my hand there. As you saw, hitting display to change. So it won't let me do it now, but it'll let me change it. So once we get a station that's loud and clear, I'll stop it. So I'll stop it here. So you can change the display like I was doing. See the different things it shows. So you have your alarm times, temperature, signal noise ratio, which I always leave on. And then you have your local or, uh, local time here, or you can make that your universal time. Okay, and then bandwidth. Okay, so as you saw, you saw I was adding uh, memories as we were scanning. Um, you get 250 on the shortwave band, you get 100 on FM, 100 on AM, and 100 on longwave. Why they put 100 on longwave? <laughs> it's beyond me. They should. I wish they would take that 100 and put it on the AM, so I have 200 AM. Uh, that would be great. Or 150 you know, AM, 150 FM. Or just get rid of the longwave frequencies. I mean, come on. I mean, maybe in other countries you guys use more longwave, but in the U.S., I mean, I maybe get one beacon or something. <laughs> So, all right, there's your shortwave in a nutshell. Pretty basic, very easy to use. Sounds fantastic. The reception is really good on the whip. Um, I hooked up my Texan wire on here just to give it a little extra boost. Uh, but there, this thing picks up a lot of stations. It's just amazing. I mean, you get your time signal if I enter it in, I'm sure. So, there we go. Okay, so let's quick go to AM here. Uh, so... Do you have any communication with him now? Not... Personally, although um, I'm on Facebook with Benjamin, the band with. his son, yeah. and uh, I uh, just about a month ago I asked how his father was and how he's doing, and I'm gonna actually I wanna send a letter to him. Okay, so yeah. what we'll do here is we'll just manually enter it, and I'm gonna take and put my antenna down. And I'll just do a couple stations, and then we'll do final thoughts. So let's go ahead and just put this back down. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky to pull that up. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just uh, enter my favorite station. So, 650. Oh, you know what? I have my I have my transformers plugged in. Let's unplug those. All right. Yeah, WSM Nashville, we know about that. That's 460 miles away. The internal ferrite bar in here is longer. Gets better reception than my 310 and my 380. I compared them side by side. I noticed a def difference in the signal-to-noise ratio. 
Uh, was it a lot? I don't know, maybe 10, 15 percent, 20 percent, but I noticed it an audio difference. Definitely was getting fainter stations easier. Cool. So uh, let's go to Toronto, which will be this direction here, 740. We'll go to the Zoomer, see what's going on over there. Yeah, they have some kind of talk show. CFZM Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. To this huge event that killed thousands of people and involved tens of thousands of other people that was right there in the there on live TV. I believe in miracles. So 750 is WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Let's go distance. Let's go to 850. It's supposed to be KOA Denver. I don't hear anything. We'll go 860. Oops. For some reason, it's not letting me do it. I'm hitting, I'm hitting it wrong. <laughs> Doing it on camera. <laughs> CJBC. WWL. New Orleans, 860 miles, and we'll, uh, we've got 1020. Uh, it won't fit in the overhead. It just won't. Here. So there are some birdie tones on here. Uh, some station you'll hear a little bit of a tone. This is uh, KDK, 1020 Pittsburgh, 450 miles, but there definitely is some tone uh, to it. The closet, no. I know it's a, a lot more on a higher uh, band. So I can hear it in 1410. Okay, so apparently it disappears at night. Okay, so I, I had more birdie tones at night on the or during the day on the 14 to 1440, but uh, not right now, which is really good. KXCL, yeah, it's about 210 miles away. I love listening to it. They got Twilight Zone. Yeah, I love Twilight Zone on Sunday nights. All right, so we'll go ahead and just turn this off here. Okay, so yeah, go do final thoughts on the Texan 398BT. Uh, this this radio, to me, is a little pricey uh, for the price point uh, because the 310 and 380 do a good job on the shortwave and FM. Uh, they, they hang up there, you know, right there with it. Um, also, the 310 has really good stereo on the headphones too. I do have to tell you that. Uh, but when it comes to the AM, this does very well. Um, it has an extra boost from that bigger antenna in here. I don't know how long it is. It was definitely longer than the 380 and the 310, which I'm glad they implemented a bigger antenna. So I do notice the difference in reception during the day and in the evening with the medium wave. So this is definitely... A great medium wave radio. Light's still on. Okay, the light's off. Good. Light turns off when you turn the power off. Um, so yeah, this would be a go-to radio for me for the medium wave. 40 FM stereo on headphones. This just sounds fantastic. And it, it gets so many stations. It's just like incredible. Will I use the Bluetooth function? I don't know. Maybe. This would probably sound good with like podcast or classical music. Um, like I said, there's not a lot of low tone coming out of these speakers. They're really just good for uh, sports radio, uh, news, voice, probably great for shortwave uh, listening, just not good for rock and roll, FM, you know, heavy bass stuff, forget it. You're not going to be jamming out <laughs> with that. But still, fantastic radio. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So definitely a keeper. Um, so yeah, but at $70, it's a little pricey. I think you can, you know, there's different avenues you can get it. I got it from Amazon because warranty, number one. Number two, I hate dealing with Hong Kong and China because I had issues over and over and over. And it's so difficult to return the radios. I you know, go through all these steps, have FedEx come to your house, pick it up. Just, it gets to be a pain. Uh, so I like to do a more local and, uh, you know, as far as in the States. So I get a warranty and if I have any issues, I can just call them and say, Hey, give me a new radio. <laughs> there's something wrong here. So that, that's what I like. Uh, so, yes, definitely a buy in my book. If you can afford a $70 premium on this, it is worth it. Um, if you don't own a Texan radio and you're looking, you're kind of interested in, in a Texan radio, I'll be honest with you. If you want one, it does it well on all 
the frequency. This is not. This is definitely an upgrade from the 380 and 310 as far as its reception capability. Definitely. As far as audio capability on the speakers, the 310 does sound better with its single speaker versus these two. But I did notice I like the FM on the mono only mode. So it sounded really good here when I was doing the test. So there you go. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the presentation. So give me a like if you do. Uh, if you like the radio? Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, two, if you're new to the channel, you love Texan radios, and you're like, yeah, Texan and Totterbert, they sound the same. <laughs> hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos, because we're going to do a band scan on this radio. Definitely, we're going to revisit this one during the day, during the night, everything. We're just going to have a lot of fun with it. And then number three, uh, comment below what you think about the PL398BT. There's another one, the media player one with the MP3 capability, the MP model. Uh, just it's a it's a neat little radio. It fits a little niche, a certain market. So, alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.